politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Well, a very good morning. Thank you so much for keeping it the Buzz UG. And uh, my name is uh, Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. I'm back to keep you posted on what is happening in uh, the country. Now, more than 170 police officers with law degrees have sued President Museveni's government for cutting their salaries midway through their employment. Legal officers at the rank of superintendent of police who have been earning 5.6 million per month are now getting 700k. Now, the affected legal officers said they got appointment letters indicating that they were legal officers and uh, their salary scale was properly indicated. However, a big section of Ugandans has told them that when His Excellency Bobby Wine is fighting with President Museveni's government, he's not fighting for himself alone, but for everyone. Uh, these are things he's talking about, but unfortunately, you know, they take long to understand and until they wake up, uh, that is when everything will be okay. Well, that is according to a section of Ugandans on a different social media platforms. Now, in other news, General Muhozi Kainerugaba, President Museveni's son, has been shooed by Kaso Male Mabirizi. Mabirizi says last year on the 22nd of October at Kololo Independence Grounds, General Muhozi Kainerugaba addressed a political gathering and made public political statements without resigning or retiring from the UPDF, yet he's forbidden by Section 99 of the UPDF Act 2005, which concerns public common uses. Well, it should be recalled that recently General Mohosi on his Twitter platform said he's ready to stand for president in the 2026 elections and all these are political statements, yet he's still a serving army officer. Well, otherwise, we are yet to confirm whether he's been updated about this matter and I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. I want to thank all of you who made it this morning. I know it's uh, not easy to wake up early on Saturday. And, uh, and come to Kololo, especially when you're coming from far. So I thank all of you. And obviously, you're all very fit people to be able to take on this uh, marathon. I still see people coming. I'm sure they were delayed by traffic and, uh, and all that. But all those who have made it in time, thank you so much. The MK48 MK birthday is all over the country. The, fi the country is on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Because of yeah. the yeah. 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 Last night, Bushenyi was on fire. Yeah. There are other places in Uganda where people are going to be celebrating. Yeah. After this, make sure you go home, you clean up, and we, f we meet in, in uh, Lugogo. Yeah. So, this evening. We meet in Logogo for some more fun there. Yes. yes. Um, I want to thank all of you, and I want to thank the all the the people of uh, Uganda for the tremendous support. Uh, this is not about MK. It is about all of you. It is about your country. Yes. It is about your country. If you do not uh, defend your country, no one. If you don't look after your country, no one will. So thank you so much for the support. We feel honored as the as UPDF for all this support because ours is a people's army and we will always work very closely with with the people. Well, that is it on the Buzz UG this morning. And uh, in case you have anything you want to say about these stories, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.